getting ready to get moving. It's cold, so we need all the layers. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. And at the end of last year, I moved from a rented flat in London to a 70 foot narrow boat with my boyfriend, Andrew, and our cat, Matilda. I don't know. We can only dream. We can only dream Such clickbait on camera. Yeah. We're off. If you're gonna. Okay, if you're gonna fall in, do it while the camera's running. This is it. We're finally leaving our winter mooring spot. We're officially mooringless. I really miss the, the spot. Yeah. I've loved, I've loved seeing the lambs grow up. I've loved the lambs and also the church bell practice every Thursday. Bye guys. Bye, Take care, stay safe, listen to your mums. This winter we had a winter mooring, which means that we were moored up in the same place for the whole winter. We didn't have to move every two weeks and we spent November until the end of February here in Braunston. But now it's March and our winter mooring has come to an end, so we're on the move for the first proper time as continuous cruisers. The plan was to cruise from Braunston to Rugby, where I was going to then get a train to London to see my friends for the first time since we left. So I was super excited about that, but also really excited to be on the move in general. We bought a boat so we could travel, so we were really excited to get out there. But things didn't go exactly to plan. This is the scene of the crime. This is where the uh, the bad thing happened. I'm really nervous to um, act it out and do it again. Like, oh, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. It just flew out of my hand and um, then it was in the canal. We're not gonna do that again this time. We're gonna, we're just gonna be normal. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it right. Doing our pump out and then we're out of here. Being normal lasted all of about 30 seconds because as soon as we arrived, we heard that someone had dropped their wallet into the canal the previous day and they fully got into the water looking for it, but they couldn't find it. So of course, the grabber was only too willing to step up to the challenge. Because Andrew is now addicted to fishing things out, we, uh, we heard that someone had dropped their wallet and phone into the canal off the uh, supply dock and Andrew just effortlessly pulled it out with his grabber and here it is, there is a phone and a wallet, I don't want to show anything. Yes, of course. It's got cash in it. So can we see how much cash this poor person has lost? This nice person who is going to have it returned. Of course, we're going to return all of this. pounds in cash. Beautiful. And then all their cards and their phone, but yeah. So this is going to get returned to their owner and uh, hopefully they haven't cancelled all their cards because this was only yesterday apparently, so they can take this back. Another successful grab from the canal. I'm there. so happy. I'm so I happy. I think it's time for you to open this as a business. Like it's it's time. I mean, I'm, Andrew's grabby hands. I just love doing it so much. It's you don't. It's a passion. You don't do it for the money. Exactly. Well, it's, I don't. It's for the joy of the work. Another successful customer. I 
passengers. That one was good. It's very straight. I find that straight is in fact the hardest. up just before Hillmorton locks because it's uh, almost five o'clock so it's a bit late to be going through now so we're gonna stay here for the night and then go to locks first thing tomorrow the locks are just past that first bridge there so this is gonna be home tonight I think there's quite a fast moving railway line just there so that'd be interesting trend just one stripe can we get out and pet one into the canal with the camera on me with my phone in my pocket and my glasses on which are now somewhere in the canal so um that's uh, and where there was is a the windless. karma where is the karma that we had for fishing that guy's phone out that i've just fallen into the canal okay we're gonna have to warm up i need to take these clothes off i'm really cold okay i'm wearing the heaviest jumper in the world look at this for sake it's a wonder i didn't bloody drown okay I'll get the magnet out yeah. for the windlass. Okay, well done. <laughs> it's not really the time to be making a vlog. I actually don't know why you're opting to do this, but... It's not, not the best day of my life, but... Um, I think my camera is f***ed. Andrew's lens is definitely f***ed because it's filled with water. My phone is also acting up, even though it's allegedly waterproof, but I put that in rice. I'm hoping that does some kind of magic, but you know... That's fine. Um, so now I've got the magnet because the windlass is in here and although it's only a windlass, you know, we might as well try and get it out if we can. It's a really nice windlass. My glasses, which is actually a bit more of a shitter, are in here. But I think the glasses are like over there. I think they so are. I'm not sure we'll be able to get them out. I've got contacts in now, which I was planning to put in this morning, but couldn't be bothered and really regret. I'm worried about how much water I swallowed when I fell and um, I did just have a shot of gin. So. <laughs> Maybe I should just go have another gin. We did read that there was something that said either have Coca-Cola Coke, but other people or said, oh, alcohol. You can just have some alcohol. Well, we don't have Coke, but we've got some gin. So anyway, this is, um, this is not how I hoped this day would go. It is what it is. We're here now. You know, in a way, it's like you, you fear it, you worry about falling in, and then you're like, well, I fell in now, so 
I mean, I what else can happen? I would say like I fell in it was I I'd fall in again. the best way to it fall in because fall. you fell in backwards. Fell in like this. So because I and always I could worry feel about myself falling, and I was like, it it was like kind of cinematic. I do wish we were filming at that point. There's a dog here. Um, I fell like this, and I like felt the water close over me, and then I like felt myself swallowing it, and I was like don't swallow the water and then i was like i'm wearing quite a lot of knitwear but that actually the cold wasn't that bad i'd do it again and we did the protocol so i immediately switched yeah, the engine off exactly. and i made sure and you did everything right to make sure the boat was far away from you to stop any momentum so it wasn't coming towards you <laughs> you looked so shocked i was shocked i remember looking back at you were like I was shocked because the thing is because you're also trying to assess are you okay yeah. because it's like do I need to come and help yeah, you yeah, yeah. I mean the, how much is a new window like 50 they're pounds. not much but how much is a new lens and a new camera like 2,000 yeah. for the total yeah. for sake for sake I'm so annoyed I'm not gonna lie I am annoyed this is not a um this is not a good time this is not a good day like I know I should be grateful that I'm healthy or healthy for now whatever bacteria and viruses and rust or whatever i've swallowed probably gets me you know it's fine objects this is not effective objects can uh, be replaced don't ever say magneting is not effective i will no, no, magneting is effective the way i'm doing this is not effective. i will get this bad boy let's I'm switch around no, okay and she's going to take over the magneting because i'm just I mean, it's not really fair. You've just fallen in also. I reckon I can do this. I'm going to look. Okay. Take over I, the camera I work. think we should moor up and go drink some more gin. <laughs> for medicinal reasons, for health. There's something much heavier now. I'm going to try and get it out. Dead body. How did it look when I fell in? I mean, it was... Did you see me fall or did you just see me in there? No, I fully, I fully saw it. I don't know exactly how you lost your grip, but like you just fell backwards like that. It was a good fall for falling into the canal. Thank you. I think it was, it was a really good I nailed it. straight into the water. I smashed um, it. You were only like a metre or less yeah. from the side, so you were able to sort of get yourself in. So at that point, I kind of knew you were okay. So I was thinking, okay, obviously um, the weight of the boat is a massive thing. And because we were, it was sort of drifting in. I was just going to make sure that that wasn't happening. I was talking to one of the older sort of boat people the other day. And he was saying that like, be super careful of the boat and always be aware of the weight of the, the boat because it's a heavy machine and you've got to be really respectful of it. Kind of good that he had refreshed my memory of that. Yeah. It is a shame about my extremely expensive made in Japan Fuji lens, but we're going to try and rescue that after we've rescued the uh, the windlass, etc. But you're okay, which is obviously the key. Good, yeah. good save. <laughs> we should be at Tesco right now, buying beans and stocking up on stuff. Like that's also what's so funny, because like we'd literally just left the mooring like five minutes ago we were like just around that corner we just came along here and then i fell in so we've made like no progress today but it's okay it's fine i'm just gonna keep telling myself that it's fine until i feel like it's fine hasn't happened yet got my um phone and this bag of rice which maybe will do something because it seemed to work but um it won't do face id anymore so i think that means that it's probably not doing great um andrew's lens is here with water inside it that we don't have the tools to get out yet my camera's here um seems kind of damp like water just pulls out of it so I'm hoping that 
maybe dries out and still works. Mm. We'll see. Got all my damp clothes into the washing machine. So the knitwear is inside this black bin bag waiting for me to uh, deal with it. So, um, yeah. Not loving life today. <laughs> not not thriving. Not not living my best life. Um Yeah. And uh this is the gin that I had a shot of. It's um algae blood orange gin. I actually highly recommend really good. Uh, I don't know if it's any good for killing any kind of bacteria if you've fallen into the canal recently, but it tasted quite nice. Burns are probably a write off. Oh, there it is. <laughs> got any, uh, got any tumble glasses down there? We've got the wind left. In, in terms of um, net versus gross, yeah. We're now probably plus 15 to 20 pounds. Yeah. Down about 18, 1800. Yeah. So, Fuji this has made all the difference. Keep that there. You can mark that. I mean, it's actually completely parallel to the sign. So, it's kind of, we know exactly where it is. He's found another one. I'm clearly not the only idiot around here. Could this be another triumph for the grabber? For Andrew's grabber. He's so far got 100% accuracy, 100% success. We know the spot. That's what we want. Andrew luckily is a determined and go-getting individual. I've already sacked it in. I'm ready to just sit inside and get drunk and cry. Okay, so I had another shower because I was really paranoid about having some kind of um, horrible disease, which probably won't make any difference, but I was feeling really grubby. So I had another shower and Andrew's gone to his mum's house to pick up his um, like I fix it um, thing with all the little screwdrivers so we can try and open up the lens and see if we can get some of the water that's in it out. I just sat here having a little cry and feeling sorry for myself in that like really frustrated way that you do when you're like why did I do that? Why? Like it was so unnecessary. Why did I have the camera on me? Why didn't I just leave it on the side? Why did I put Andrew's lens on it instead of my cheaper lens? Why did I... Just so annoying. It's so expensive. And the glasses, like the hassle. Finding the glasses that look good or like you like is so hard. And now I have to find new glasses, get a new prescription, find new glasses, get the lenses put in. My glasses were Tom Ford. <sighs> okay, so it's late night. I'm walking back. Uh, I managed to get a taxi which was a pretty massive faff, but um, in the end, got there. So now I'm back here, coming back to the boat right this minute. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can start opening up some equipment and getting any water out of the lenses, getting any water out of the phone and seeing if we can fix anything. With Chris's phone, I managed to open it up. We're gonna see, try it out, see what happens. Fine for a full-size boat, they said. You like to present a professional demeanor. 